let me see what we have in this problem. Um, <clears throat> the two wooden boards shown in figure are connected by a half inch diameter bolt. Washers are installed under the head of bolt and under the nut. The washer dimensions are D is equal to 2 inch, D stands for the external diameter, and D, the other small D, is equal to 5 eighth inch, that is internal diameter of the washer. The nut is a half inch zinc finished grade A finished hex nut. It is a technical term, we will talk about that later. The nut is tightened to cause a tensile stress of 9,000 PSI in the bolt. A. Determine the bearing stress between the washer and the wood. So the washer, when I tighten this bolt, it pushes stress on the board, on the wood board. I want to determine what would be the stress right at the connection of washer and the wood board. B. Determine the bearing stress between the knot and the wood if I don't use a washer. So I have two scenarios and I want to see how can I determine the bearing stress in these two cases. Free wave aircraft. Okay, this is what we need to do for solving almost all problems in mechanics of materials. So I need to take out part of the element, I need to make it free, and I need to use equilibrium equation in that part of element. All right? The part of element that I want to consider here is this part. I know that the stress in the bolt is equal to 9000 PSI. Another cut section that I have is between washer and the wood board. So there would be another unknown stress at that point. I don't know how much is that. Let me call that sigma W. Sigma is a stress, W stands for washer, okay? At which area <clears throat> the washer is acting on? What is the area of washer? What is the shape of washer? It is something like this. According to problem statement, the outside diameter is 2 inch and the internal diameter is 5 8 inch. So I can simply determine area of that washer. That would be pi over 4 external diameter squared minus internal diameter squared. If I plug the values, I will get 2.835 squared inch. For the second part, I need to determine the area at which the stress in the bolt acting on. Bolt has a circle section. The diameter of that is half inch. All right? So the area that I need to consider for this uh, 9000 PSI stress is a circle. And the area can be determined from this equation, pi diameter squared over 4. Diameter in this case is half inch. This diameter is smaller than the hole in the washer. And if I plug the values, that gives me 0.196 squared inch. All right. So, so far I have determined areas of washer and area of bolt. What should I do after this? I need to write down equilibrium in this element, but I cannot write down equilibrium for stresses. I need to determine forces that caused by each stress. How much is the total force in the bolt? What is the stress equation? Do you remember the stress equation? Mm -hmm. So sigma is equal to force over area. All right. I'm talking about bolt. So how much is the area of bolt? It's 0.196. How much is stress in the bolt? 9000 PSI. Can I determine how much is the force in that? I can simply multiply sigma by area. Let me do that. So this is the stress equation that I have. The force F is calculated by stress times area and F would be 1767 pound. All right. If I consider equilibrium in the y direction, the resultant force acting on the washer should be equal to that force because there is not any other force. And how can I determine stress in washer? I will use the same equation. So I will say sigma is equal to F divided by A. So sigma W would be force divided by area of washer. And I simply plug the values. 
Force is 1767 pound. Area of washer is 2.835 squared inch. And the stress in that case would be 623 PSI. Okay? So that's it. Any question for this part? If you look at this, what we are doing here is using the free body diagram to determine force and determining what section is carrying that load. I divide the force by area that gives me stress. Sometimes I'm looking for force, as I had in the first step. Sometimes I'm looking for stress, as I have in the second case. So it depends on what I'm looking for. I have one equation and I solve it for the parameter that I'm looking for. All right. This problem has another part. It asks for the case where I forgot to use the washer. So in that case, do you expect to see higher stress or lower stress? Higher, because the force would be the same, but the area at which this force is acting on would be smaller. So there would be higher intensity of force. Okay, let me solve this part. To determine what would be the area, I need to see what knot did I use here. The knot that I use here is half inch zinc finish grade A hex knot. So there are engineering tables that I can go and find out what is the dimension of that knot. This is the uh, table that I used. For a half inch, which is this one, I can determine the internal diameter and external diameter of that. To be on the safe side and to make the calculations easier, I ignore these small, tiny triangle parts. So I will just consider the area of this uh, purple uh, do not shape section. The external diameter and internal diameter are three quarter of inch and half inch in this case. I plug the values into the equation pi over four times external diameter squared minus internal diameter squared. And that gives me 0.245 squared inch. That is the area under knot. And I can determine stress simply by dividing force over area. Force is similar to the previous case, so that is 1767 pound. And area, I just determined that. When I plug the values, that gives me the value of stress equal to 7200 PSI. If you compare this with the other case, you can see it is almost 10 times higher than the first case. So if you forget, using washer, the stress will concentrate on smaller area, and in that case, the wood may not be able to carry that load. So that's why we are using washer, because you want to have distribute the load on a larger area and make it tolerable for the materials beneath that. Steel is strong enough, but wood is not as strong as steel. All right, this is a simple calculation to see what happens if I forget to use washer here.